Welcome to St. George, Utah. Have you ever thought about making a move or relocating here to St. George? Well, today we are gonna talk about living specifically here and in and around the St. George areas, and we're gonna hop into it right now. Mariah Curla here. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if this is your very first time here. I'm a licensed and active real estate agent here in Utah and this channel is literally everything you need to know about eating, working, playing, sleeping, and living in the St. George, Utah area. If that is of interest, you consider subscribing down below and tap that bell for notifications so you're notified every time we drop a new video. We hear from people like you all the time who are looking to make a move, who are looking to relocate, buy or sell a property here in Utah and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about Make it a move in a week, in a month, or even a year from now. Feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, and my team and I would absolutely love to help you out. So living in St. George, yes, today we are gonna hop right into some of the things that you can expect if you are thinking about relocating, making a move here specifically to St. George. So as I am shooting this video, we are in the heart of winter. Yes, we are in the heart of winter. So the first thing we're actually gonna talk about is simply climate. Yes, because here in St. George, oftentimes people talk about, oh my goodness, St. George is just hot, 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 hot all year long. It's not necessarily the case. Today, as I'm shooting this video in the very middle of winter, it is around 52 degrees. Yes, 52 degrees. So the winter times you can expect, and actually it's a little bit drizzly today, you can expect usually a lot of sunny days but sprinkled in between with a little bit of rain, very rarely does it snow here in St. George. If you go just about 45 minutes north to Cedar City, you typically will see snow on the mountains this time of year. You can expect during the summertime here, you are going to have July, August, September, those are going to be our toastiest months here in St. George. And you can expect 100 degree days for an extended period of time. It will cool down slightly at nighttime, but it is kind of that, um, what a lot of people say, they kind of compare it to that Arizona type of weather, especially during the summertime. So number one is climate. Summers are gonna be very warm, and then you are going to have winters that are usually going to be typically fairly mild. Number two, outdoor recreation. Yes, the outdoor recreation here, Lots of people love moving specifically here to St. George simply because of the outdoor recreation. There are so many things to do. I don't know if you can see, but right behind me, there are dozens and dozens of pickleball courts. Pickleball here, I'm if Utah has not named pickleball like a you know the state sport or something, I don't know. But pickleball here is huge. Tons of people are playing pickleball here. There are courts all over the place. I know in terms of you know outdoor recreation too. If you are into boating, sand, you know, boating, ATVing, camping, all of those kind of things, Sand Hollow um, Reservoir is a big place where people love to go and, you know, spend a lot of time there. If you are into hiking, you've got Snow Canyon that is 10 minutes away from where I am here. Just the accessibility, not to mention the national parks. So you've got Zion National Park that is about 30 minutes away from here in St. George. So. The outdoor recreation is huge, not even to mention the golfing, right? So the golfing is another big one that draw people in here. So if you are an outdoor enthusiast, living here in St. George could be a phenomenal fit for you simply because there are so many incredible outdoor activities to do all year long. Number three, living here in St. George. St. George has become a really phenomenal retirement destination for many people. The climate, many people love that. Many people love the outdoor recreation. The number of retirement communities and options for retirees are also really, really big here in Utah too. And really has that relaxed environment and atmosphere here in St. George that many are drawn to. I know I briefly touched on golfing along with all those outdoor activities, but golfing is another big draw for many people that are looking to retire here that are looking to simply be outdoors and to do a lot of golfing usually all year long you can expect good golf here in st george so that is another big drop moving right along community yes community 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 here in st george living in st george 
there is a huge sense of community in and around here. So again, many people are drawn here simply because they want that family friendly. They want that sense of community here. St. George offers that in, you know, so many ways. I've run the St. George marathon before. And I literally remember I looking around as I'm, you know, as I'm running down, you know, the, the canyons and down the streets. And I, I'm pretty sure every single person here in St. George was out cheering and cowbells. And I mean, the whole nine yards, the sense of community coming out for different activities is unbelievable and really is a, you know, really a phenomenal thing to have. Another big draw for living here in St. George, Utah is proximity to the national parks. I know I touched on that just briefly with, you know, the outdoor activities, but being so close to Zion National Park, and then even if you go about an hour and a half, you'll hit Moab. And once you get to Moab, you've got arches and you also have Canyonland National Park. And so the proximity to the national parks down here in Southern Utah, specifically in St. George, is really a really nice thing. Let's talk about the beauty. Yes, the beauty here in St. George, if you love the Red Rocks, if you love just, you know, the parks, the recreation, St. George has a lot in the way to offer in terms of that. So again, just the natural beauty that you see here in St. George is a real big draw. Moving right along to safety, and I know we briefly talked about community and family friendly, but the safety, the family friendly that a lot of people enjoy here in St. George is another big one. Simply, you know, just the different activities for families, for kids, for community here is unbelievable. Same thing, like I'd mentioned before with the retirement, a lot of options for seniors here too. I know my dad has played in the Huntsman games year after year after year and has really, really enjoyed um, that. So just in terms of community activities, lots in the way to do with that. Let's talk about fine arts and all of that as well. Here in and around, there are a lot of shops, galleries, art, you know, different artists that are showcasing their work. Also, the Shakespeare Festival is always in Cedar City, Utah, which is about 45 minutes north of St. George. So if you are into the outdoors, if you are into art, you want a little bit slower pace of life, the, you know, St. George has a lot in the way to offer for that. So if you are thinking about making a move or relocating here to the St. George, Utah area, my team and I hear from people like you all the time and we absolutely love it. So feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, and it would be our absolute pleasure to connect with you. And also if you are looking at moving here, my team and I have a free living in St. George guide. If that is of interest to you, just comment the word guide, G-U-I-D-E below, and we would love to pass along that guide to you. Wishing you a fantastic rest of your day and we'll talk to you later. Bye.